Okay, so we're here at day 30 of the full Kimmy Pure Blue treatments and just wanted to share some of my thoughts and conclusions about the product and how we uh, got the nuisance hair algae under control. So, you know, this tank, we had, a, we had a major crash about a year and a half ago that started a huge downward spiral of events. Started off with dinoflagellates. I beat that. Then the cyanobacteria took over. That took forever to beat, at least using natural methods. I, you know, I try not to use Kimmy Clean uh, if I don't have to. So we eventually beat that, or at least got it under somewhat manageable control. Then the green hair algae explosion happened. So I was like, look, let's try some bacteria products. And, uh, and those really seemed to help, but they didn't completely eliminate the problem. So I knew that we had to take some additional approaches to try to get the green hair algae under control. So I thought about using the Kimmy Pure Blue product. I've used it in the past, and I know I've used it in my nano tanks and uh there you know and i remember it being a pretty good product clearing up the tank and such so i thought i might give it a go again especially with the the red sea reef mat that i'm using it has a nice little media tray underneath where you can place a media bag and it almost works like uh like a, a media reactor uh goes in there and and the water you know goes through the reactor so to speak and uh and really, really works as a as a great means of, uh, you know, using media. So um, I used that. I tried uh, manually removing uh, the algae once it got really thick, and uh, and that didn't help really much either. So what I what I found out was that I needed to remove the algae all the way down. Uh, to the rock. So in other words, I had to use a much more aggressive approach uh, in removing the algae. So I took a brush, pretty much got everything out, um, everything that I could see, and that allowed the cleanup crew to do a much more effective job uh, in removing the algae because as many of you know, the, uh, the cleanup crew, you know, they really like the new stuff that grows. Once it it gets even somewhat thick. They really, they don't want to have anything to do with it. So I got it all the way down, uh, or got it off the rocks. Cleanup crew went in there, did their job, and you know, using the Kimmy Pure Blue, I believe removed a lot of the uh, the silicas, some of the extra uh, nutrients that were building up in the tank, and uh, and really was kind of the final blow uh, for the algae outbreak. Now, you know, we're not totally out of the weeds yet. Uh, we do still have some algae growing back, um, but it's at a point where it's somewhat under control and I really only have to scrape off the rocks, um, you know, maybe every couple of weeks and hopefully uh, once these corals really start taking off uh, and uptaking more nutrients, hopefully they'll, you know, completely eliminate the algae. Uh, in the past, that's been my experience is once the tank uh, matures and the bacteria is all settled out and growing good and, and the corals, uh, you know, first they kind of color up and then they'll start growing really fast. And once they get into that, you know, fast growth stage, they'll outcompete, you know, the, the bacteria, the, you know, the cyanos, the, um, the nuisance hair algaes and such. And that's really kind of like the goal where, you know, that's the point where you want to get to. And I'm not quite there yet with this tank. Uh, the colors are looking better, um, but we're not in that, you know, really fast growth stage yet. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, again, we're not totally out of the weeds yet, but this Kimmy Pure Blue, uh, along with the weekly water changes and the aggressive manual removal of the algae, really, I think, uh, helped get me get rid of the green hair algae outbreak. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And of course, if you have any comments, feel free to leave them below and I'll be happy to respond.